Ooh, greetings. Uh, I'm talking to my YouTube folks right now. I ain't talked to you in long. I haven't posted like, oh, this is we're in June. I haven't posted over month of June. I was going to actually wait uh, because June I'm still here in Africa and I'll be back in the States uh, next month, July, you know? Oh, water. Um, uh, but I, and I wasn't going to, like I said, I wasn't going to post, but uh, Kenneth Kunda passed. So I had to get some uh, get some spirits with Kenneth Kunda, not just whatever. Uh, uh, well, Kenneth Kunda is from uh, well, Zambia, you know, and it was supposed to be Northern Rhodesia, whatever, however they, they was doing. Uh, um, anyway, uh, he's one of the original uh, strugglers against colonialism that we talked about in the 60s and stuff like that. And, you know, free this country's first black president, first, first African president, I guess, however you want to say it. Of, of the newly formed nation of Z or named nation of Zambia, and uh, he's a great man. I met him one time. In fact, let me uh, um, because he passed. I'm gonna drink some. I'm gonna get some. I'm not really advertising stuff like it's not advertising, but uh, like I don't like I said, I don't drink spirits. Like, but if I do drink spirits, then my spirit drinking <laughs> is um uh, it's with uh, uh from out socially. I, I like margaritas, of course, but. Uh, I'm talking about the straight up spirits. It would be a uh, scotch, and this way down I got uh, what I got here. This is Johnny Walker Green Label. Green Label. <laughs> like I said, I'm not advertising. I'm just saying. So well, let me pour this like that. Yeah. That's our that's our doggy. Boy, that dog is crazy. I mean, really crazy. Anyway, can I feel the peace and blessings upon your eternal soul? Some water behind that. Oh. So like I said, I'm not really a drinker. Um, but I guess it's appropriate just to talk a little bit about because I want to switch over. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about something I wasn't going to do until I could get back to the States because this whole thing with um, Kwame Brown. Um, I'm, so I'm going, to do a, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about communications. This is fascinating to me. Uh, first of all, right now, the area that what's happening right now, let me talk about black America. I don't know about what's happening with white people. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. Well, black men, we're at this point. There's this thing, talk about uh, 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 Zambia, which was, like I said, it used to be uh, was Northern Rhodesia. Then you have Zimbabwe, like Southern Rhodesia, you know? Uh, but Southern Rhodesia, well, the Shona people, you know, they they had this uh, term. Um, uh, and, and I guess it's, yeah, it's Shona. And it's called Chimaranga. And I have a poster back here. Let's see if we can see it. This is a poster from the magazine Chimaranga. Which comes from Southern Africa. Let me see if I can. Uh, this is a picture. It's one of my. This is my somewhat African. Well, one of my international corners right here. See, that's uh, that's Ziggy Marley right there. But you see that ring, Chimaranga? See that? I think it says Chimaranga right there. That's how Ziggy Marley. He's reading. Nothing more dangerous than the black man reading the book. Oh, well, he's reading the Bible. But I forget all that stuff. Anyway, let's have that in the corner. But if you look on the poster. See here, it's a Shona word. Shimmering is a Shona word. It means revolutionary struggle. That's what they use, you know, revolutionary struggle, time of colonialism, whatever have you. But there's another meaning. You know, have you have one, two, three meaning. Another meaning is, uh, you can't see here because I have, I have wrote it down, but it's the war from within. The war from within. So what, 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 what's being said there is basically this. A revolutionary struggle is a revolutionary struggle, but 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 when you go into this revolutionary struggle, there's always stuff happening. You know, you gotta you gotta <laughs> clear the wheat from the chaff, whatever have you. So, so the struggle from within needs to happen before the revolutionary struggle, or as it's happening, because you got to get rid of these people that don't. So right now, this state we're in. I'm not just talking about Black America right now, or whatever. We we have war within. In other words, we gotta the people who are naysayers got to get rid of them. You know, or these people that don't know, or they're leading us down a whatever path, you know, the, the the next colonial level path got to go. Because it's a struggle from within, and we have to redefine blah, blah, blah. We can do all stuff. But let me go back and tell you what the, the importance of Kwame. Uh, because there's other people that can step up now. Because um, basically, um, if you're employed by the colonialists, you know, then what they do is they do stuff in their interest. Simple as that. So, you know, you don't expect them to give you no freedom, whatever have you. The perfect example is now we have this uh, Juneteenth right now. Dumb. 
Uh, I won't say dumb. Uh, Juneteenth is whatever it is. But here's the problem. I wouldn't mind Juneteenth. Look, Juneteenth is Juneteenth. Whatever you all, if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, I don't care. You know, I think it's kind of strange. Anyway, but my thing with all these holidays, we should no longer have holidays like that. If you have something like Juneteenth, especially something you can start with Juneteenth, um, what you should do is study. It's not a holiday. It's a study day. So you should study about Juneteenth and what that means and why it's ridiculous, to, not ridiculous, why it's kind of strange having a you know a holiday for a thing that for, for liberation for people who were late for their liberation and then uh, I don't know, I have no idea. Because you know, you know, because people will lost their mind. Maybe it's it's good. But what's happening when Kwame's calling out these people who have done and this started really with this whole social justice worry, this whole uh, cancel culture, because he's done all he's doing is take the next level. He's going up and says, Hey, y'all did this stuff. Why are y'all still you know? It's like um you no, know, it's like it's like that guy who was at I think it was hot ninety seven Anyway, he was he was, um, he was uh, uh, some sort of editor, whatever have you, in that crew. But he was one of the people that was right there with the, I think it was a Yusef Hawkins case. One of those cases out there in Brooklyn. Right? But he was one of those instigators, whatever have you. Well, they called him out. He got fired, but he was a low-level thing. Now, you know, <laughs> when Kwame's calling out a whole bunch of other people, people is kind of strange. It's not strange, kind of interesting. But here's what's happened, struggle with him. So you have people like, for instance, I listen to a lot of different different kind of people. And for me, the, the the people have this thing about cursing, but I don't I don't curse, but I, yeah, it's going like yeah, it sounds to me. I, I don't care, right? But what happens is the the some some people can do it, some people can't do it. One of the most fascinating things to me now is the the way that black people are using cursing and stuff like that, because white people can't do it. You know, you know how white people rip everything off. You know, they take out phrases, whatever have you. But if you have a fifteen minute conversation with a let's call it a real, you know black man, right? Then in that 15 minute conversations, you want to get 150, you know, um, the niggas and, 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 you know, another, you know, 25,000 motherfuckers in that, in that one, <laughs> you know what I mean? And white people can't do it like that. They can't, they can't repeat like, because it doesn't sound right. Then it sounds like, oh, you are really perpetrating. Now I'm going to go far afield again. The only time I've seen this thing happen where they had to um, shut somebody, well, where it, just for free to understand this phenomenon, is 9-11, I know, 9-11, Gaddafi, whatever happened, not Gaddafi, what's the guy, you know, Gaddafi is a good guy, um, the um, uh, um, Bin Laden, whatever happened, when he, when they first came on, he was doing these, he was sending out these, it's called them rants, right, and what people, but they stopped, they stopped doing the rants, because they were translating, they stopped doing them right away, because they realized that it's like every other Every three words, every four words, he would say, thank God or God. He wouldn't say Allah, he'd say God, you know. And that was messing them up because, you know, here, remember all these Christians hearing, God, let us do his God. If we're on God, God's on our side. That I kept on hearing that. It messes them up, you know what I mean? So your, present, you present, your presentation and your vocabulary is very important and your style is very important. Now, what's happened, with, especially with Kwame, is that he's, he's dealing with, I call it Joe, just Joe Brown territory, right? Where we're just dealing with men. You know, and and we just dealing with men. We don't care what the women are saying. We don't care what they better. White people say we go well. Just dealing with men. It's like this, same thing like the, the B one brigade. This hope. There's a few, 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 few that's dealing with men. We don't care what women do. do I don't. We don't, we don't know what y'all doing. Just do, do what you need to do. But we got some other stuff to do. And then there's this um, there's this thing I call an elite force. Okay, I shouldn't say it like that, but it's an elite force. And that's where Kwame's coming from. Well, here's the thing. This struggle that we're having right now, it is true. You know, you can say black people from here, that it's diaspora, the Pan-African, whatever have you. But it, it really, the, the shock, the, 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 not the shock, but the, uh, the main troops uh, uh, have been identified. The elite troops have been identified. First of all, you got to be black male. That's one thing. If you want to be really, really, then you be a Geechee black male. The only two, uh, okay, Kwame's, Kwame's Geechee black male. That, that's... Think of it as like South Carolina, you know, Geechee, the islands, the the, the Geechee Island, the, the Geechee Island, the 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 Gullah people. That are, that's 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 Geechee, right? But what happens is you you have you have black men, then you have Geechee. Now Geechee, it's like you can't. It's like people think of it as country or whatever have it, but it's authentic. It's the most essence. Is it's the essence is authentic. So like for instance, I'm, Ge I'm, I'm my I'm my um, uh, great grandfather on my. Paternal side is Geechee, so Geechee, right? My uh, uh, and the only other person I know is Geechee. I know because he, I know it is James Small. So you know, if I look at Kwame and James Small, I said these are the folks I wouldn't want to hang out with. I ain't going hanging out with this among some of these other people that I don't know what they are, but they ain't doing. You know, they they they, they 
they're uh, samboing or whatever they're doing, but they're not they're not freeing us. Kichi's about freeing us, you know, about being real. Da, 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 da. So I'm I'm very anxious, not anxious, but it was very interesting to see what happens. I mean, he um, uh, uh, Kwame got together with Joe's Brown. Um, he's got his he's got his basketball folks right. As um, uh, he's yeah. trying to get, to, I think he's trying to get. Well, uh, Tasha K got interesting because I. A lot of these people we talk about, I, I know about these people. I, sometimes I follow them. Uh, Tasha Kate's pure gossip, but this is kind of interesting what they're going to talk about, see what happens. But I really want him to talk to mm -hmm. Michi X. The Geechee and the Michi together. That's going to be fascinating. I'll wait for him to get mm -hmm. to that, if he gets to that. So he's having, he keeps on trying to get oh. with Cat Williams. That's going to be interesting too, because all the people he picks are authentic black people. I know you have this thing about uh, Candace Owen, who else? Um, you know, these right wing people, elder, the, the elder guy and whatever happened. But that soon as he starts talking, as he's because he's smart, as he starts, then it'll, it'll it, it will happen. OK, so I just wanted to come to you with a little, you know, uh, a fascinating, fattest, fascinating times we live in and to see what uh, where where we're going again. You know, Kenneth Kuhunda, we salute you, brother. Elder father. Okay, be well. Just uh, just little, you know, uh, um, thoughts from me, T, from the Patterson, taking the trains to bet, letting you know what I only suspect.